Okay, the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act or the FCPA. So in short, the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act is United States legislation, which is basically came out in 1977. It's I guess you could say, as they say here, it prohibits companies and individuals from bribing foreign officials for business purposes. Now, what's so good about the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act? So it basically is the main international legislation, especially with the US, with regards to bribery and corruption. Now, what's so great about it is it has what's called extraterritoriality. I find that word hard to say, but uh, with regards to the FCPA. So it works overseas. You can't just avoid it, you know, if you want to go abroad. So if you are a US national, it, which which I am, even though I not live in the US, this law still applies to me. So if I bribe, you know, if I work for a US company or I'm a US citizen and I bribe someone in Australia, well then I can be charged under the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. So it applies to all companies listed on the United States Stock Exchange their officers, directors, employees, agents, stockholders acting on behalf. Well, that's a weird thing, but it applies, applies to everyone within that organization. Uh, and if you commit what is called bribery or corruption, well, then you are obviously in trouble potentially. Um, the law also requires companies to keep accurate books and records. So it basically requires you to have process and controls in place that, you know, stop and prevent corruption which we're getting a lot of that now anyway, but when this first came out, that was something obviously new. Uh, it's enforced by the Department of Justice and the SEC. Uh, there are lots of large fines and imprisonment for individuals who are in, in significant penalties for companies who break this legislation. So this is the main legislation for corporate bribery and corruption.